Hey Noah, this is Joel. Just wanted you to see the difference here in how the uh, shaft got flatter over here on our right. That was the last swing from our lesson the other day where the shaft got flatter earlier. You see how it looks more on the plane line, not just the club head, but also the shaft. So that's very much what you're after there on the right. So when we look through them chronologically, through the lesson, this is the first one. And then let's just keep looking through the lesson and see how that got better and better. Obviously some of these were much better than others. Now see, that's fantastic, Noah, where that club head is coming from inside. It's a little bit too much inside. But you see how it's kind of across the line. It's across the line of your toes. And then as you start, that shaft is very much straight up in the air at that point as you start into the downswing. So there again, see, it was easy for you to drop your hands toward the plane line like that. And then that one looked pretty good. That shaft, yeah, there you go, buddy. That shaft was sure flatter at that point. See, there's a really good image of this. This is VJ Singh. But watch how his shaft, see, you can't see the shaft there because of the lighting, but you can sure kind of sense where it is because of the club head and the hands. And then that is very much more what you look like on that one. So that one's pretty good right there. So we'll give that the blue. That one wasn't too good. Yeah, see that's kind of bad there. Your shaft is very much more steep. Yeah, then see the line over here for the Vijay Singh? That'd be right about there. How much flatter that shaft is. And to show you another one, see how that shaft is flatter at that point. Her hands are at about chest height where yours are. You'd want your wrists taking it back, pointing it left of the target line. Yeah, now that one again, see, so you know that looks great there where your hands have dropped toward the plane line, but your wrists still have that shaft. That's good, but still more vertical than I'd like. That one's pretty good, though. That was a little closer, I think. Yeah, now there you're definitely... Uh, not quite. Right at the top there, you're kind of across the line, so that's a little steep there. You'd like that club head to our left as we're looking at it. Ooh, that was a little closer. Now there, that's when I mentioned to you at, in the backswing to start feeling like, there you go. That's more what you want. So you're definitely not across the line there. And right there, though, it did kind of get across the line. So it's really going to be a matter of kind of when you're feeling what, Noah. Like to keep it back there and not do that with your wrist there to get that club head pointing right at the target line. Because that's kind of when it starts to look more steep there. And again, there, it looks pretty good, but I'm really wanting you to get it good at this and to get a pretty good feel for it, Noah. There you go, that backswing was different. So I look forward to keep working on that with you here, buddy. The next time or two, I see you, Noah. And to show you some more tour players, so you can kind of get a feel for how this club head points more left. I want you to see a couple of these. Here's another one I think will be very helpful for you to see.
There we go. See how the club head really heads back toward the plane line from the top. Again, for both of these, right there. That's more what I'm after for you there, Noah. See, there's the top. So see, on the backswing, the shaft is on the red line there, and then on the downswing, when the hands are chest height, that shaft is more on the orange line. Same kind of look here. See, from the top, that club head heads back toward the plane line there. For both of those swings. And it's mainly a function of the wrists there, Noah. Thanks so much, Noah. Hope to see you soon.